Hi, my name's Michael Hill. I'm uh, from Psycho Fitness. Uh, my uh, co-inventor and myself, Alan Kolk, uh, we invented the Psycho XT about six years ago. And uh, we'll, well, we came up with a concept about six years ago and it's been a, a work in progress ever since then. The Psycho XT was originally developed to help uh, surfers and snowboarders and skateboarders to train without actually going into the environment that they, they naturally partake in those sports in. But uh, sometimes, like surfing and stuff, you can't actually go out into the waves because there's no waves, the wrong tides, the wind's blowing. When you're snowboarding, if there's no snow, you can't actually do those sports. So we invented it to, to replicate the manoeuvres you do in those sports plus improve your fitness and, and be able to develop your muscle memory while you're actually using the Psycho XT. Originally uh, I wanted to improve my surfing because I was at this intermediate stage where I was, I was surfing okay but I, I wasn't linking my turns up nicely so I, I took up a little bit of, of skateboarding and then went into a skateboard bowl but um, I was getting a little bit old for that so that when you fall off it hurts, not like a kid that bounces back. So I went home and I thought about how I could actually come up with something that replicated those moves that a skateboarder does in a, in a half pipe, um, but actually in a safe way. So I thought about if it's a half pipe, then it's got to be a pendulum movement above your head. And I looked at the way the body moved and all the natural pivot points. So I wanted to get the, the natural pivot points so you're actually standing on the board but you've got full freedom of movement around your, your hips and your knees and your ankles. So then went from there to using lots of bits of ropes and, and bicycle tyres and had a bit of a play with different um, contraptions. Got it to a point where it was sort of, it was okay, you could move around a bit, not, not high at all. And then I brought uh, Alan Kolk on board because he's got the engineering background and the surfing background. And um, when, once we started working together, that's when we developed the harness, which actually supports your body in it. And, and that's a, a crucial thing to be able to get your feet higher and to be able to use the, the product in a safe manner. It is actually a, a sport in its own right. It's called swingboarding. Um, so, like some people could say it's a, a surfboard simulator, it's not really a surfboard simulator or a skateboard simulator. It's a sport in its own right, as just as much as a skateboarding is a sport in its own right. Everyone sees it and goes, wow, that's an amazing thing. It can be used for this, it can be used for that. So a lot of people can see it as the amusement side of it. Um, sure, there is an amusement side to it because uh, it's exciting to do, but the huge bonus is that it's this fitness side. So you're actually getting this amusement, but the, the fitness and, and the sporting aspects are, are huge. You're standing on the board, which makes the board unstable. You're on this unstable platform, but you can't actually fall off it, unlike most unstable platforms like wobble boards and, and indoor boards and stuff and you're working your, your deep core strength. We've you know, been quickly picked up in overseas countries and in Europe we've got agents there in Japan um, and Indonesia and America so we're just working with those agents now while we're, we're refining the final pr uh, the production models and that's what you're looking at behind it is a production model and uh, yeah, we'd, we've had a really good response from the market. And the ATS, they've just been amazing. You know, as soon as we um, got through and we've been accepted with the ATS, it's, it's just been um, one thing after the other to help us with marketing and, and help our networking. And they've just been bending over backwards to provide promotional material, plus, plus the, the members, existing members in the ATS, talking to them and getting their feedback and finding out their networking and things like, you know, they turn up at a meeting overseas and they say, oh, you're in the ATS. Oh, it suddenly it brings a huge credibility to your product. So uh, it's just been perfect.